My name is Donnie, and you suck at Photoshop. But don't feel bad, because not everybody can have the mad skills that make the late, at least one lady say, Fergalicious. So burn on you. So let's say you've been seeing somebody new that you met on Facebook, and it got off to a rocky start, but after having talked on the phone one or two times, you really feel like this could be something special. You're ready to take it to the next level. You want to create an image for her that says, you get her. You understand how much it hurts to go through a divorce. You know how hard it must be for her to raise her two adult sons who still live at home and are also semi-professional go-kart racers and that that's been an incredible burden on their lives because she's had to serve as their semi-professional go-kart racing manager. You want an image that says all of that. Well, let's go to our images and start to find an image that makes that sort of a commitment. What do you think about a house or a land aluminum, depending on what kind of deal you were able to get? Doing something to this house might make a bold statement that says, You're, you belong here, if you, think, if you think you do. So what could we do? We could put a sign up on the house that says, Welcome to my life. You could put some balloons out front. Um, or you could do something significant to the house itself that says, I'm really very serious about you being here. Like a massive revision to the wall on the side of the house that accommodates go-karts and go-kart equipment. So maybe you started building a lair that does just that, um, that actually puts two giant holes in the side of your house with garage doors and some ramps so that go-karts can go in and out of your house. And But what you really know that you need to do is, is say, I mean business by putting a go-kart into the photo and, and really making the statement that, yes, I am willing to have motor vehicles in my living room. So we're going to use Photoshop's 3D layer tool. We're going to go to layer, 3D layers, new layer from 3D file, and maybe you downloaded a, a 3D object that looks kind of like what you think a go-kart racer might look like. Let's open that up. Photoshop's going to bring it in as a 3D object, and we can see it here. And maybe you talk to her and she explained that her two sons are not normal human height because of something that their father did to them early on that involved lots of coffee and apparently some very restrictive unitards that they had to wear all the time and that they're not actual normal human height. They are like 65% the size of a normal human adult. And we want to reflect that in the photo. So we want to make sure that this racer is small enough for these, these little kins. So we'll start by double clicking the 3D layer so that we can manipulate the 3D object. And we have lots of tools up here that we can use to, to manipulate it. Rotate the 3D object. We can roll it. This is XY space. This is the Z space. And then we can also drag the 3D object, uh, slide it in space, or scale it. Well, we're going to just start by rotating it. Grab the rotation tool, and we'll do this pretty quickly. I, I guess what we'll try to do is make it look like it's, like it's coming out of the it's coming out of the living room and it's getting ready to go have a fun day of driving illegally around the neighborhood because these there's no way you can have a permit for these things in in this kind of neighborhood so we'll get it sort of about where we where we want it to look like it's coming out of the living room and then we'll scale it we'll move it down here and what we want to do uh, next is we want to create a quick layer mask so that it looks like it's actually part of it's inside the house. So any time we do something, we need to apply transformation to 3D scene. Um, just, I'm figuring you're going to forget all of this stuff, so I'm just going to keep moving along. Um, option click with the lasso tool and frame out the, the left and top parts of the, 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 the garage hole in the living room. And then 
uh, we'll go over and while the 3D layer is selected, click Add Layer Mask, and now um, you'll see that it, it looks as if our racer uh, is is actually inside the house. So now all we need to do is sort of just continue. We double click the 3D layer again, and again, remember, I mean, not not Hobbit size, but not not too far off of it. They they just need to it needs to fit their their smaller frames. So you could do a lot of things to make it look even more real. You could change the light source. Um, you could add shadows to show it coming in and out of the uh, of the house. Or you could maybe even do something to show the realisticness of actually t turning your the front part of your house into a garage and and that's to maybe look at what over time will happen um, and, and maybe you, you also want to add in some other sp other special things that you know might make those people feel welcome um, you know whatever you think it's going to take to really sell this idea to the person that you're sending it to and speaking of sending it let's go to file save for web and devices we're going to save this as a JPEG um, and so we're just going to go to Facebook. No. We're just going to go to Facebook. Upload the photo for her and everyone to see. That's not too creepy.